And that a real dancer. Dancer can't die here. Dancer will never die. Dancer cannot die. Cannot die. <laughs> Dance I cannot die people, let me them check you know. It's a man said that a bad with me takes and some bad song. Dance I cannot die. Just like how reggae music cannot die. That's a whole different story for another time. That's an original dance I read him that. Yeah? Conscience, Niger boy, Mr. Vegas. Mali Ali. Yeah. Is a man say? Yeah man, real dance all that. Original dancer juggling. Them things they make all the rhythm alone make you move. The rhythm alone have your bunks. Yeah. Rhythm alone. Imotep, tell me if the Wi Fi has slow down because me never did a, it never did a work a while ago. So let me know if the Wi Fi has glitched or, or me have a delay or a slow down or whatever happening. Yeah? I don't trust the Wi Fi. I just had to uh, restart the whole thing. Big up yourself in the marvelous. Easy Brenda Lee. Big up all my fans, you know. Alright, you say good to go? Alright. Yeah, man, original dance hall, man. Yeah, coming soon. Coming very soon. So we wait for the mix them. You have the body's Niger boy and the body's conscience. Yeah, for the rhythm there. Body's conscience. Bloody's conscience. Yeah, man. Alright. So we're not too waiting you now. Anybody not catch it on the live can catch it on the replay. You see what I say? Don't catch it on the live, catch it on the replay. Alright, so more want to talk about Sir P. Yeah? Versus Bright Light. Yeah? The reason today is Sir P. Versus bright light. You see? Before me even get into the meat of the matter, you have to understand saying you know, people. Understand something. You see a cold personality or a dangerous something, you know? Yeah. You see when a person around a cult or a dangerous thing. You see Hitler. Hitler did create a, um, a fictional persona. You see? Hitler did it create a fictional persona for, 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 for present himself like a savior to Germany. And many of the um, dictators or authoritarians or um, cult leaders, they create a fictional persona to present themselves as saviors. You see? So what them do, like Donald Trump. Donald Trump created a fictional persona to present himself like he might go save America. So he come with a slang, make America great again. It's a fictional persona. You see? And the people are buying to it. And what you have to do now when you create that fictional persona, you make sure you say, you poison the followers of the cult are the people who join the cult. You have to poison their minds against any form of pushback, any form of um, counter-argument, any form of disagreement, any form of non-believers. So when you create the personality there and you create your audience, and them create them audience. They make sure so them label everything where them deem to be enemies are enemy with some form of negative um, epithet or some form of negative slang or them vibe. So case in point, Donald Trump would have said fake news. The reason I'm saying fake news, yeah? He knows that the media is going to be, I was going to be his number one enemy. Some of the creators slang named fake news. You see? So whenever the news put forward anything, whether it's true or whether it's not accurate, accurate, 
the followers are the people who join the cult just jump out. Fake news. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to listen to them don't listen to no voice of reason. Them just everything them just little fake news. And them just see you as an enemy. So even if you're not an enemy, you know, the fact that you have any form of pushback against anything, anything, even if you agree with 99% of the things that them do, and you just disagree with one thing, you become an enemy. You're going to be labeled, you're going to be targeted, you're going to be stigmatized, all of them things there. Because the fictional persona that was created was created in a sense of I'm going to save or to present itself like I'm going to save the world. You see? And that's why so much people love Jesus, you know. Again, creating a fictional character and present it as a savior. So you, people will kill you for Jesus. You see what I say? People will kill you for religious deities. It's fictional personas people create, you know. And because the, the people that will create these fictional personas, even biblical characters, you know, they created these fictional personas. Yeah? And they make you fall in love with it. Because it is presented as a savior. You see? So people attack anything we try to go against what them deem to be um, a savior or what them, tend, them think is going to come save them. You see? It's like Mark Golden, in my view, created a fictional persona. Jamaican people know things that Mark Golden are going to save them from Andrew Wellness. So they start saying Andrew Wellness is a slave master. So them come and they put chain around big stone neck. It's a fictional persona, you know, them create and pretend to be a savior or present themselves as saviors, you know. Like we in the upon the earth long enough, you know, say. None of the party them really, really, not really are going to do um, much different, but we just go with the one with the better policy. Choose the better of the two evil. You see, because we know, say, these people, them work under the British mandate or the monarchy. Them, it's not like them can't even do much. If any law a pass or any um, budget reader them want to implement whatever they want to implement in a society, they have to go to the general, governor general. If Andrew Wallace get fired, they have to go to the governor general. If Paul and Llewellyn get fired, they have to go to the governor general. When Mark Golden was chosen to be the leader of the opposition party, the governor general had to Sign off on it. It's not like the people them choose Mark Golden. But the Governor General, yeah, the people them choose him, but the Governor General could have said no, him no qualify. And that would have been the final say. You know what I'm so in my view, even Mark Golden now, you see, so much people will attack you if you disagree with anything that he does. Or anything that he... You see? When do you not agree with? People will attack you like, yo, it's your mother. <laughs> like people want to kill you. You see? Because fictional character is being created or, being cre or, or was created to present itself or, it, or himself or herself or themselves as saviors. It's happened from time to time. King Leopold killed 20 million people because Belgium thought he was going to be the savior. So I'm going to get rubber, forgive them for them motor vehicle and them bicycle and all them things there. Even though he was in Africa cutting off people's hands. And, and assassinating over, assassinating people because they're not turning in enough rubbers. Because they saw him as a savior. And people just accept whatever evil they do. King Selassie, I, with the rest of them, I got born me out for that one, yeah? Fictional persona, people deemed him as a savior. So it never matter what Selassie I do, to the quote-unquote Ethiopians, them, where him deemed to be his enemies. You see? Famine, are enemies them there. And the people, them just work with it because, again, 
them are trying to stop this savior here from slavery. So them people, we are suffer famine and Celestia and I look upon them. And the Rastafarians, them, because they see Celestia as a savior, them turn a blind eye upon anything where you have to say about Celestia. If me say thing about Celestia, a man come style me, call me, wall bag a shaking name, what's S my mother, man want to kill me, man want to man say all you to me, when I me, when me watch grow up, we turn Rasta now, a centred to me. Fictional persona presenting itself as a savior. So there's nothing you can tell a Rasta man who believes Celestia is God. You see? About Celestia. Even the fact that he was a part of the campaign to get rid of Patrice Lumumba in the Congo. He never he, he sent the Ethiopian Air Force, you know, as part of the, 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 um, the team. Yeah? On the ground to protect the interests of the, um, the Belgians or the Europeans. And that's why I'm saying the, the, the Ethiopian military. A part of the operation where them, where them created to make it seem as if they were trying to bring peace and stability. That was no peace and stability. It was a plot to kill Patrice Lumumba. You see? So that is what happens when people come in the name of I'm going to save you. And Serpy is one of those people. Whether I'm right or I'm wrong, it no matter to his audience. And that audience has grown from, from we were talking about it and pointing it out that this man is, in my view, a separatist. This man, in my view, is an instigator. This man, in my view, is stirring up old feud and pinning youth and youth against each other. Nobody paid any attention. No, it's too late. Because he presents himself. Because he presents himself to be what? A savior. And he said it. Him said you will look back at the old Jamaica when you when the new Jamaica will be the new Jamaica. You know, this man is is basically promising people that they're gonna have a new Jamaica. And the way to have a new Jamaica is not to go after the root of the problem, is not to go after politicians, is not to go after the corrupted justice system, is not to go after none of that. The way to have a new Jamaica is to go after the ghetto youth them. Because they are the ones who are clearing the guns. They are the ones who are, you know, running for, 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 for seats. They are the ones who are representatives of the communities. Yeah? They are the ones who are getting the money to do things. Yeah, attack them. Like when them dead, or when them send go kill the dande, or when them send go kill the man they were, them already had enough of him, and now he becomes a threat to them. Them send go kill him and put somebody else in that place. But you cannot say this without getting pushbacks or people just. When I was tired, we see, you know, long live, you know, on a bad mind. Yeah? Go find something to do with your time. Fictional persona presenting itself as a savior. They can't go against the savior. No matter what you tell black people, say nobody is coming back to save them. Them think Jesus is gonna come back. Them actually have all of the Bible scripture them with them put together and them recite them every day. Jesus is gonna come back and save us. And your name cannot be saved. You cannot be saved under nobody else's name. You can't be saved under your mother's name, your father's name, your sister's name. Nobody else's name you can be saved under. Only the Savior. The Savior. Fictional characters. You see? 
You can't point out no inconsistencies. You can't point out no fallacies. You can't point out no misinformation. Because you're going against the Savior. You see? But look when the look when the, 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 the cult was put look when the, they were building the cult. Look at this. I right, listen to this. Listen, 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 listen when the cult are built. You see? This is when the cult are built. And you're going to be labeled as somebody who's trying to destroy Jamaica. You are not going to be labeled as someone who's trying to destroy Jamaica or mash up Jamaica. Or you don't want good Jamaica because you point it out. But listen before the cult grew. Listen, listen, listen this, listen. Only is crime and murder much worse than we think. Right, as bad as the numbers be, we hear every year the 1200 and 1300, the real figure is much higher than that. Right, we're also starting to see that enough of these cases, a matter of fact, the majority of these cases, if people would just talk to the police, if people would just give certain information, enough of these people would at least even talk to the police, if people would just give certain information, enough of to the police, if people would just give certain information, no talk to the police, if people would just give certain information, no for these people would at least, even though they might not get found alive, at least their family would have closure. Because that is the worst part of somebody going missing. That are before the cult <laughs> grew to the, the point now where this message not mean anything anymore. But when we say, why not turn the information over to the police? No, oh, oh, police them not do nothing. Police them corrupt. The police them are wicked. I know. Uh, <laughs> but look how it start. Look, look at er, looking early at, at earlier days. Looking earlier times. You see, a lot of these cases would have been solved. A lot of these missing people would have been found if you had turned the information over to the police. Or cooperate with the police. <laughs> but now that is poisonous. If me and you say that now, it is poisonous. For me and you to say, then why him not turn over that information to the police or the information we have to the police? Why are you talking about? Yo, you bad mind. Go sit down. Everything him said 100% accurate. He must have posted... Um, a poll, 60%, 65% of people believe that he's credible. 100% credible. So no matter what you say, what you say is not important. Because the Savior, no matter what the Savior do. Remember say Jesus did say, you know, or the Bible says, you know, Jesus came with a sword to turn mother against father, sister against brother, to divide. Remember that the Bible says, you know, but people don't care about that part there because a savior came. And a savior is coming back. And a man came to save us from our sins. So with him, if we sin, we can be forgiven. When God can just kill Satan. <laughs> And get rid of sin completely. For I'm so love the world. But why? If me say that, I'm gonna be ostracized from society because me ungodly. Fictional characters or personalities presented as saviors. But you hear him say when people not giving the information to the police. So in the case of him and Bright Light. Zem so said Bright Light is the one where cremate people body illegally. Strong, right? But there is no evidence. So we don't know if it's true or lie. Because there is no evidence. So we have to just accept what him said and we have to just start looking for Bright Light as a criminal. Whether I'm innocent or guilty, we just have to just accept it and just say, is a criminal. So 65% of people who think that he's 100% credible are always credible, are mostly credible. Then believe a bright light is a criminal. Say so me and you say, we don't know if I'm a criminal, we are 
anti-Serpi. We are anti-peace. We are anti-Beta Jamaica. Because we know I'm a criminal too. So in constitutional rights is not valid or, 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 or you know, he's not privileged to his constitu constitutional rights. Because I'm guilty before he's innocent. So you can just put it out there and just no evidence, no nothing. This man a cremate lizard, this man cremate um um the the, the, the Nick photo work. And we, we, feel we must just accept it because if you reject the information or if you ask some more evidence or if you ask why not turn it over to the police as we him did say a few years ago. People are not turning over the information to the police. You see? You are going to be what? Ostracized. And stigmatized. And bullied. And called out. And put in your place. And if they had the will, killed. Because you are now a threat. To the Savior's mission. And that Hitler did do. And that King Leopold them did do. That is it, you know. And so politics did start, you know. In a Jamaica, you know. When they formed politics in Jamaica, I'm being two white men against two white men pretending that they were feuding. And then black people join in and start feuding with each other. And we start killing off each other for two white men. Who pretended to be saviors and were presented as saviors. Is that them do it we you know? And it's something that always catch us, you know. Why you think we're going to slavery? Nobody wanted to fight back. Some, some white man just come and just give them a Bible and just say, yo, give us your land. Give us your land and you're going to be saved. And black people just say, yeah man, we're going to be saved, you know, yeah man. We're going to a place with milk and honey. And they take the Bible and bow down and I pray. You see, I can't, uh, Bishop Tutu. And by them up there, yeah, the, the whole of them, the power ship. And the whole of them land gone. But how we know some of them stories, yeah, you know, is plausible. Because we see it still happen. We still seeing it. When it, the black man, they just sell you out just like this. For the white man. Case in point, Candice Owens, trying to come back now to the cookout. But she didn't have a problem with a policeman standing in or kneeling in George Floyd's neck. She pointed out that he was a criminal. And now she wants us to invite her back now to the cookout. Because them boof her. And remind her that she's a Negro. Reminded her that she, she's a Negro. So now she wants to come back over. Like she for, like we must f just forget. You see? That she was cheering for the team that was okay with a police officer kneeling in a man's neck. Because he was a crackhead. Because he was a, a, a robber. Because he went into someone's home under highly influenced drugs and did some illegal thing and went to jail for it, prison for it. And now she wants to come back over. So we know some of them story that when the white man, you know, presented himself as a savior and gave us a savior on top of that. You see? It rings true because we still see it happening. So, Sir P, back to him. Or back to it. Because we don't know if a man or a woman. Or a robot. That has been uploaded. Information has been uploaded to. But you will kill me for it because it's a savior. You don't even know what it is, you know. As the man named, the Rasta man named Maury something said, it will stand up right beside you so you mustn't disrespect it. Even that, that he's proliferating, you know. The Rasta man here tell us you must be fearful of it. And that is what Hitler them do, they did. That is what the, 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 um, the authoritarians they did. What them do? They make sure so people spread that information. You must be fearful. That's why God did tell us, say, the, 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 you know, you must fear him. Them say knowledge begins with the fear of God. No one must fear somebody will love me. Why should I fear somebody where 
want the best for me. I don't fear my mother. I never fear my mother. I never fear my father. You see? Because I know them love me, they're not going to hurt me. So a man, a raster man, I will tell you, he must be fearful because he can be standing right beside you. So I'm already DFI that individual or that person or that thing. So you must be fearful. Be careful how you attack animosity. Be careful how you attack. Be fearful because he can be standing right beside you. So you cannot speak your truth. Because if you speak your truth and point out what people may be thinking, you're going to be what? Ostracized. And they're going to remind you, so you must come off of the internet and go and go make music. And I'm going to remind you, say they get boxed down, or boxed up, or kicked down, or whatever happened to you. So they're going to remind me now, say, be a motherfucker for me. Because, of course, I must be fearful. I must follow the cult, or join the cult, or shut the fuck up. So we can't point out nothing that we find troubling. You see? So the man has come out and has dash out something. Yo, bright light up, a, a cremate people. Hey, that. October the 5th, 2015, Nick Photoworks and his cousin, Dwight Brown, disappeared out the face of the earth. Now, there are many theories surrounding what happened to Nick Photoworks, right? Many rumors, right? People say my man did an argument over money. People say I inject the chart this and that. Listen, I'm going to tell you what the police them actually have, right? So I'm not even going to address the rumor because based on how I heard them, it's nothing solid enough for me to run with. So the last place Nick and his cousin was seen alive was a community by the name of Kesha Park, right? That's um, coincidental the community where I did the video about the videos were done and the, yeah, that Kesha Park cousin was seen alive was a community by the name of Kesha Park, right? That's um, coincidental the community where I did the video about the videos were done and the year that Kesha Park commander, um, the, the area where he might at least try control, right? So the last place i seen was in the Kesha Park area. Nick and his cousin, Dwight, were seen arguing with several men. Several, not one or two. There was a big argument. Next thing them know, on Wednesday, October the 7th, because remember, him was missing the same day, people see him, and the man him in an argument, right? On Wednesday, the 7th of October, right, they found the BMW that Nick owned. But they couldn't find him or his cousin, the white, right? Now check this out, people. Even though there were reports that them see Nick and several men in an argument, nobody has come forward to give up the name so anybody with them say they can name cousin or argue with. Because it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know or to at least come to some kind of conclusion that if the same day we see you and a group of men argue, at the same day you disappear, never to be found again, then the man they may argue with would at least, well, very likely know something about what happened to you. But as usual, when it comes down to giving information, when it comes down to giving names, who need to argue it, right? Everybody, deaf, dumb, and blind. That was three years ago. His intel placed Nick at Ke in Kesha Park three years ago. And his intel is from where? The police. Three years ago. Three years ago, Nick was in Kesha Park, according to his intel, arguing with his cousin and some man. Three years ago. And he was imploring people to give information, come forward, work with the police. Information updated. Did he go to the police? No, because he have him cult base. Where them hunger is more important than the truth. Where them hunger is more important 
than your rights. You don't have no rights. Once you get called upon the platform, there, everybody believe. I remember say we not say a lie, and we not say a true. We say we don't know. Because they say we don't know. Imagine we, imagine we, we the critical thinkers know, we have to say, we don't know. So when we see bright light now, we have to just look for the man and say, you know, say, maybe true. You know, say, maybe lie. <laughs> we don't know. Bright light, you know what? Me don't want to do any business with you. Because me don't know. You see that? No evidence. So me don't know. But it's fast forward to know how the story changed. We can't get new information. But listen carefully. They're not gonna kill the white. If then he say yo, go link up on so that no come line on. So Nick and the white now, and I'll blink up with the man then. Nick in the car and do white gone in the house with the man then. Grant her. When Tanya reached the house, it wasn't a negotiation, but nothing friendly. It was murder time. So the man them started stab up Dwight. Nick was in the car outside. No, it occurred to them. Ratty. Nick and Dwight come. Dwight going to the house. No, Dwight did. Then obviously Nick no said, I must we kill him. So them send the Nick on that style. And a Waldi then kill off Nick. Nick wasn't originally supposed to be dead. Then kill off Nick. Nick L. And a Waldi then kill off Nick. And a Waldi then kill off Nick. Nick wasn't originally supposed to be dead. I do I never want to kill. But after killing Dwight, obviously there's a whole witness outside. We come with Dwight. And they know Dwight did, so we have to tell him, say. And now you're hoping, say, in keeping him out lock. And then people in the light deal with the hope thing. So we tie up them loose ends, them kill Nick too. Somebody who them know very well. Somebody who them laugh and run joke and skin teeth with a million times. So, it wasn't good. That's new information, you know. So, a few years ago, his intel was from the police. Or his information was from the police. And this new information now that came out last week, that he put out last week. You see? I guess it's a new, it's, I guess it's an update. But he not turned over to the police, as we did say, years ago. He turned it over to what? The cult base. Because the hunger for meat Red meat. And nobody can question who give him the information. It was not a criminal that gave him the information. You know who gave him the information? Jesus. Jesus dream him and gave him the information. The person who get the information from not involved in a crim criminality. Him does get the information from an innocent stand, um, and bystander. 